court's back in session. All right, jury is seated. All right, you may be seated. The jury has reached a verdict. Everyone is present, including Mr. Drake. And for the record, Mr. Drake has been here for everything involving the trial and everything before the trial. All right, let's go ahead and bring the jurors in. And you're the four person, is that correct? I am. Okay, has the jury reached a verdict? We have. Okay, if you can go ahead and give the verdict form to the bailiff. All right, we have so many bailiffs that we don't quite know who gets it. All right. All right, and if the defense would remain standing, and if Madam Clerk would please publish our verdict. Yes, Your Honor. State of Florida versus Michael Draca, case number 1809851CF, as to the charge of manslaughter. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is guilty of manslaughter as charged. If and only if you find the defendant guilty of manslaughter, then please further find if the state has proven this fact beyond a reasonable doubt. The defendant carried displayed, used, threatened to use, or attempted to use a firearm during the commission of the crime. Yes. So say we all, Timothy J. Kleinman, four-person of the jury, dated this day, August 23rd, 2019. All right, everyone may be seated at this point. I'm sorry, you may be seated. All right, members of the jury, at this point, Madam Clerk is going to poll the jury. That just means that she's going to ask you if this is, in fact, your verdict, and she's going to do it by number. So um, she'll make eye, eye contact with you, or, or she'll point to you, and then just ask you if this is, in fact, your verdict. Juror number one, is this your verdict? Yes. Juror number two, is this your verdict? Yes. Juror number three, is this your verdict? Yes. Juror number four, is this your verdict? Yes. Juror number five, is this your verdict? Yes. Juror number six, is this your verdict? Yes. Members of the jury, I wish to thank you for your time and consideration of this case. I also wish to advise you of some very special privileges enjoyed by jurors. No juror can ever be required to talk about the discussions that occurred in the jury room, except by court order. For many centuries, our society has relied upon juries for consideration of difficult cases. We have recognized for hundreds of years that a jury's deliberations, discussions, and votes should remain their private affair as long as they wish it. Therefore, the law gives you a unique privilege not to speak about the jury's work. Although you are at liberty to speak with anyone about your deliberations, you are also at liberty to refuse to speak to anyone. A request to discuss either your verdict or your deliberations may come from those who are simply curious, from those who might seek to find fault with you, from the media, from the attorneys, or elsewhere. It'll be up to you to decide whether to preserve your privacy as a juror. On behalf of everyone involved in the case and the people of Pinellas County, we would like to thank you very much for your time and your hard work. Obviously, it's been a grueling week. Uh, we started early. Uh, we've uh, stayed here late the last couple of nights. I think it was six for you yesterday and uh, obviously fairly late today and you've worked really hard, you've paid really close attention, and we would like to thank you very much for your service, and that's what it is, it's jury service. So uh, all of us greatly appreciate your service. Now, we will um, uh, excuse you. If anyone would like to be escorted back to your vehicles, the uh, bailiffs will do that for you, okay? Anybody have any questions or anything? All right, all right, thank you very much, you are excused.
right now, obviously, is, is no time for a sentencing, that's for sure. Um, the defendant is entitled to a pre-sentence investigation. I don't believe he has any prior record. He does not. We would request a PSI. All right. So it normally takes about six weeks. So since today's Friday, that shouldn't be that hard to figure out what six weeks is. Mm. All right. Um, how is um, October 11 at 1.30 in the afternoon? That's a Friday. Your Honor, that's, that, that date's not good for me. Okay. Well, can you check my calendar and see if I have a trial set on the 10th? Yes, Your Honor. Because we have off on the 9th because it's a holiday, actually. What's the 9th? So I may just have a couple trials set on the 8th. I may not have anything set on the 10th, do I? It's moving very slowly, the system. Okay. Well, it's probably tired. So why don't we set this on the 10th? How's that? Is that a good day for you, Mr. Rosenwasser? Are you out of town? Or? October, October 10th is good. Okay. Is that good for everybody else? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. All right. So you want to say at uh, 1030 in the morning, is that good? That's fine. That's fine. Okay. All right. So I will order uh, a pre-sentence investigation. And I, I, yeah, I think it's important for the uh, state to let them know, because every once in a while we'll order a PSI. And then on the day of the sentencing, we'll hear that they never got notice that they had to do a PSI. So uh, go down to room 1930 Monday morning, okay, and, and make sure you remind them that I ordered a PSI and we need to have one. And then um, uh, obviously the defendant was uh, out on uh, bond. Uh, he had a presumption of innocence at that time, and obviously he doesn't have one now. He's been uh, convicted, so he's going to be uh, remanded into custody and we'll have our sentencing on October the 10th at uh, 10 30. Okay. Thank you. Zero Appreciate bond. it. Hmm? Bond. No bond. bond. Zero bond. Correct. Yeah. All right. Any other issues at this point right now? All right. No, Your Honor. All right. Thank you.